Logan Paul claimed he humbled bodybuilder Bradley Martin in a secret MMA fight. The two, who are known for a history of playful trolling, reportedly fought without cameras or any formal setup. After the confrontation, Paul and Martin appeared tired but intact, sharing mutual respect. Martin's infamous insistence that he would beat the likes of Demetrius Johnson or Sean O'Malley has become a meme in combat circles. But I'm 260 bro has become something of a catchphrase as he regularly challenges top MMA fighters. You know, I was, uh, I'm, how, how much you weigh? About 260 right now. <laughs> yeah, like crush it. Yeah. Like he, 150 pounds like a towel to me. But now Demetrius Johnson, who fights at 125 in a street fight would you up. Why dude? Demetrius Johnson? He's tiny, but he's black belt and everything when it comes to hand-to-hand -hand combat. But you don't. So on the ground, I know you like, you'll think you'll like pick him up and slam him into the concrete or I don't know what, where you're thinking it's going to go. I'm going like, to crush his head on the floor. No. No? Mm -mm. Really? No. 125 and, pounds? I, Dana White thinks Tony Ferguson should retire whether he wins or loses against Michael Chiesa. White believes Ferguson has had a great career, but it's time for him to step back. Dana says fighters sometimes don't know when to quit. Since last fight, you said you wanted him to retire. Mm -hmm. Now you have another fight with Michael Chiesa. Is this going to yep. be it for Tony Ferguson, win or lose? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I would like to see him retire. Islam, Makachev, and Armand Sarokian are set to potentially fight again having first met in 2019, where Makachev won by unanimous decision. Sarukyan criticized Makachev's recent title defense, saying he had beat him easily in a rematch, but Makachev dismissed this as Sarukyan seeking attention. Makachev seems ready for a second fight with Sarukyan, possibly at Madison Square Garden by year end. No, he just plays, tries to focus on his У него уже был шанс, я его один раз побил. Я думаю, придется и второй раз побить. MMA fans react to the WWE taking over the UFC Apex. The UFC Apex has always been seen as a dull venue for fights, but WWE transformed it into a lively place for the NXT Battleground show. The new setup had double the seats and a better atmosphere, leaving MMA fans confused and upset. Over 50% of UFC events have been held at the Apex since 2020, but they never bothered to make it more fan-friendly. Many believe the UFC should adopt WWE's approach to improve the experience for all attendees. Speaking of UFC 304, Tom Aspinall shared that Leon Edwards is helping him get ready for UFC 304. With the unusual start time, Leon has made some suggestions to Tom. Leon has employed a sleep specialist. Stop it! Yeah, yeah. Whoa, and, uh, tell us more. Well, I knew about this before because I know Leon's manager. So I was kind of like, I'm not going to set my like set anything in stone in my mind until I spoke to Leon on what he's doing. And Leon basically gave me a full breakdown of his sleep pattern. So I'm essentially going to copy Leon without paying a sleep specialist. <laughs> <laughs> You're cheating. That's a cheat code. No, well, that's the plan. I don't want to pay anybody. So Leon, uh, I'm just I'm, I'm just getting the advice off Leon and I'm just following. Boxer Ryan Garcia was arrested in Beverly Hills for allegedly causing $15,000 in property damage at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. The arrest happened around 5.45 p.m. after a driver contacted the police. Garcia's attorney mentioned he might also be charged with public intoxication and pointed out that Ryan is dealing with his mother's serious health issues. Garcia has recently faced controversy for erratic behavior and a positive drug test after a fight. He's also being sued by Prime Hydrate, owned by Logan Paul, for defamation. MMA fans react to the official poster for UFC 304 featuring Leon Edwards versus Bilal Muhammad. Many believe it's an inside joke aimed at the fighters. The phrase, now they're just fucking with us, has been trending online, especially after setting the fights up with the USA start time, 
fans are saying this just may be the worst UFC poster ever. Brother, That's all for today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more MMA content. And if you missed yesterday's news, click the video on the screen to get caught up.